Hello everyone, welcome back to Final Fantasy XIII. So, uh, a nice little touch you might appreciate is out here in this flowered field, there is no music. Yeah. Let's get moving. And then as, as soon as we go back in the cave, we get back to the, uh, the Vile Peaks. Goddamn track. I, I swear sometimes I, I just I just try and concentrate on silence and all I can hear in my head is dum, 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 dum. It's maddening. Might break your sweat. It just it gets in your head after a while. Is it just me? Might just be me. Yeah, it's it's just you. I am I am cursed with a pretty good memory of music. So, uh Seriously though, why did it have to be this track? They could have rehashed any of the other tracks in this game. What the hell was that sound? You are probably hearing uh Thomas rolling around again. Uh Sounded an awful lot like stock gunfire sounds. Just like that? Yeah. Yeah, that's him. Does sound an awful lot like stock gunfire sounds, though. I mean, come on. Oh, hey, it's those massive guys. This looks like it might be a fun area. Um, yeah, it's fun. Very much so. You know, for a, for a given value of fun, as we've come to expect. You've got, you've got to calibrate your expectations. Yeah, so, uh... There is a Juggernaut up there. Um, I'm, I'm pretty much just going to poke my head up there and see if there's any treasure. But, uh, there's not. There, there, don't even go up there. It's not worth it. I'm going to say, you all saw the bonus video and saw how fun it is to fight this guy. No. Say so we'll just just leave him be. Not worth it. Not even for the CP. Oh, these guys, on the other hand. Well, this way is progress. I guess. Like, is it? I've, I've. I, I, I thought the the plan here before everyone got distracted by five second mental breakdowns and gatling guns was that we were going to try and jump on the spinning drill thing. But we've walked right past it on multiple occasions. And... Yeah. He, uh, he's still moving a little too fast for that. Maybe we can, uh... Maybe we can do something incredibly contrived and stupid later on to compensate for that. Oh, of that I have no doubt. But, you know, I guess we're going to have to trek through a lot more brown featureless caverns first. Nah, we're almost done, actually. The, uh, the second part of the uh, Mahabara goes by really quickly. Uh, more small mercies, I guess. Uh, for a second there, I got my hopes up that would actually be something interesting, but nope, just more things to use to craft your weapons with. But like, wow, they're really getting their mileage out of these pipe textures. It's alright, we are just about done. I think it's only like one or two more rooms. I thought this whole place was supposed to be like tunnels that were dug by that spinning falsy thing. Well, it was and then um, the the Pulsian peoples came in and started mining or something like that. It, it's in the data logs. Of course it is. Why didn't I think of that? Okay, but for real, we're, we're there yet. We're there now, right? Yes, we are. I don't understand how that thing has anything to do with anything. Oh, you will... you will see. You will see. I mean, there's, there's like a massively telegraphed platform right there and everything. Well, this had better be good.
No way through. Man, that file C must have been slacking. I see hope and I see a giant mech. Wait! Stop already! Ugh, the vile peaks all over again. Ha ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! Hope! Get out of there! Colon, shat face, colon. So yeah, this is the story of how Hope doing? became one with the Juggernauts. Okay, so let me get this straight. Ooh, well that was cool. Hope stopped Don't the giant that, spinning robot Good drill fallacy Not even a mighty with a wall of robots. Of <laughs> am I, am I getting great. this right so far? Okay, but the here's the right. problem I have with Let's this. Hope has previously, well, recently, relatively speaking, just acquired a robot wall. So why couldn't he have used the robot wall instead of the wall of robots to accomplish the exact same purpose? But that wouldn't let them make a joke about, oh, ha ha, this is just like the Vile Peaks again. I guess it wouldn't have. And, you know, I think I'd honestly be alright with that. So, I guess we can ride the Spin Dash bot now. Well, until the Spin Dash bot runs into the wall. Okay, it's, it, I thought the whole point of it was, you know, it, run, it doesn't run into walls, it kind of goes through walls, isn't that, like, kind of its thing? Look at you, you're thinking about this again. I... I guess. So, this is Solia Springs. This is our next little stop on the road to Tajin Tower. I will be completely honest, I had totally forgotten that this place even existed. I thought we just went, you just went through the tunnels and ended up at the tower. It's, it's a very short area, and there's really only one thing of note that happens. I guess it has the stock Final Fantasy XIII redeeming factor. It's kinda pretty. It also features snow. And vanille. Absent-mindedly staring at the blue crystal thing again. Talking to Sarah. Just telling her that we're all gonna be okay. Good on you, Snow. You know, I'm kind of amazed he hasn't broken that thing yet. I don't know, it, it's crystal. It doesn't break. Crystal is magic and has magic properties. It's so pretty. Sarah? You'd been crying, hadn't you? Back when we first met? See, this is one of those points where it would actually make more sense for that to not be narration at- Oh, for Christ's sake, I thought we were Beautiful. done with these! My focus was to destroy it. <laughs> I decided to do nothing. Oh, you sure did, didn't you? I really did. Others got dragged into this if it's worth anything, I forgot it existed until I ran into it when I was playing. I dare to believe. How's the scrape? Huh? Fine. Uh, Much better, thanks to you. If I had to make a list of people that I would want to be oh, stuck in a flashback you. with, I mean, I'm not keeping you from anything, these two would be not on that list. Oh, don't worry, I could sit here for hours. See, and, it's, and it's funny because we basically do spend hours here. Do you think we'll meet again? We might. Sure. See, the thing is, I was 
chasing after someone. You see, it just kind of becomes more annoying now that we know that Vanille is causing everything to go horribly wrong by continuing to lie about things. I just can't ever find the words. Gee, that's gotta be tough. Huh? It's like I get the feeling that they were trying to make her sympathetic with this. I even have but, nightmares about it. You know. Well, if it's too much to deal with, face it later. So that's where that piece of shitty advice came from. It's Sarah's fault. Sometimes God damn it, Sarah. Look at them from a distance. Why are you enabling this? But does that really work? So, really, it's also all Sarah's fault. I'll let you know. Oh damn it, these two Actually, really fucked everything up. I've been trying to keep something at a distance myself lately. Like what? Don't laugh, okay? It's a dream I had. A bad one. I dreamt I destroyed the world. It was terrifying. Who <laughs> dreams about it stuff like it that? It had me so well, scared. Well, this is... Okay, this is this is post the scene. Yeah, this is this is the focus thing. Oh yeah, because she's got the bandage on and everything. Yeah, okay. Alright, that wasn't stupid. Oh, wait, no. Away, no, it is actually a dream. Because that snow came Listen, into the picture. I don't think snow was part of her focus. Well, you might just want to keep them safe. Oh, yeah, it's, them it's, not, uh, it's not completely dumb for her to be having dreams about the yes. vision that she had that basically was indistinguishable itself from a dream. I mean, no, you're, you're right. The whole thing is, is stupid anyway, but not specifically because of that. I'm sure of it. It's just a sensible extrapolation of something that's already very stupid. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. What else can I say? I'm not the one you should hey, be asking, Vanille. Sarah, I think you You'll totally just missed what she was trying to say. You'll see. The point, your head, etc. Well, that was grueling. You mean you met Sarah? Mm -hmm. Okay, so she was actually narrating all this out loud. And she ended up on the sea. I wanted to say I was sorry, but. Well, when we rescue her, maybe you'll get the chance. Yeah, I hope so. I don't. Come on. Just saying. I think Sarah. Saw the same vision of Ragnarok that we did. Which means Dysley had to be lying when he explained her focus. I think she beat it. Or maybe it means he she was just playing the numbers game? Us, and that's what made her turn to Crystal. I don't know, you could take pretty even odds on yeah. Dysley was just making a solid bet versus Dysley was deliberately lying because, you know, it would goad them into doing the thing that he wants them to do. I don't know. I, th I think I think trying to trying to convince your branded servants to destroy the god is basically to destroy the world is basically exactly the same as applying for a job. Just get as many of them going as you can. One of them's going to get through eventually, and you only need one. So hey, Ceratosaurus, remember these guys? I remember these guys. Well, that's nice, because we're not going to be seeing any of them right now. Okay. Um. Okay. That's ominous. Just a random thing? Huh? Oh, they're really getting their mileage out of this music track. Takes the waterfront. Must think we came to stir up trouble. Well, if that's what it thinks, uh, shouldn't we probably be heading off now? Uh, looks like it's a little late for that. Thing looks pretty confident. Um, too. it should be clumsy out of the water. If we can get it to follow us onto dry <laughs> land, I think it's leaving that to the small fry. So yeah, this uh, this cutscene exists to do nothing but raise up two little platforms so that we can get a couple treasure balls. 
nothing but a swarm of so is it actually totally optional? I'm pretty sure it is. Like, it's not like one of these things is blocking the way forward or something, because that seems a lot like something the designers of this game would do. No, I, I think that one is legit optional. Well then, will wonders never cease? Could go over there, not going to. I'm, I'm guessing the loot is just more trinkets. Yeah. Figures. So hey, these guys. Is this basically the exact same as the, the fight with the Chocobos, except we're higher levels now? Pretty much. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna clear out the Ceratosaurs, because fuck those little guys. Yeah. But the Ourobans are, yeah, they're basically just the next level up of Sahagen. Oh, they're actually different enemies. I thought they were, they were like the same enemies, but we're... No, no, they are an entirely new enemy. Oh. Their, their water attack, instead of inflicting slow, it actually inflicts daze, but otherwise they are pretty much the same with more HP. Sounds like it's actually a lot less annoying to have daze. I mean, it's, it's, I'm assuming that it's like any daze thing, that it wears off really quickly. Yeah, it does. Yeah, unlike slow, that just makes you really, really annoyingly slow until you get rid of it. Funny how these things work. Uh, I miss those days before you know, they realised that stop was a really broken idea for a status that could be put on you. Those were good days. See, it's, it's funny because I use, I use days talking about days. It's a homophone. That's a joke. Anyway... Yeah. Um, the Aquabane brooch back there is another is another water-resistant equipment. Is it any different from the last water-resistant equipment? Uh, I think it's, uh, it's 25 or 30 percent instead of 20. Oh, so it's like a leveled up accessory then. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a thing in this game is that there's, they they talk a whole lot about upgrading your accessories like it's a really important thing that adds like entirely new and original aspects to your stuff, but really it just makes a small number into a slightly less small number and pretends that that's a very big deal. Where it does get a bit ridiculous is if you're one of those people who's stupid enough to try and go for the trophy for getting every single item. And there's like, there's always that one thing where you've you've missed one of the random tiers of stuff. Because you got a tier 1 and a tier 2 and a tier 4 and you upgraded the tier 4 all the way to a tier 5, but you didn't get a tier 3 so now you have to buy a tier 1 and upgrade it. Because game design This guy, the Raptor, is the one who can call other Ceratosaurs. Uh, but, uh... He sounds like a priority target. You would think, but it's much easier to just drop a couple Faragas on there and keep launching everything, and then actually focusing on him, because there's just so many of those little assholes that they will tear you apart if you focus on him. Well then... So hey, I guess maybe the thing about the slightly different battle strategy does actually happen sometimes. If not in the entirely obvious places. Is it, is it me, or does Saz actually just straight up not have a victory animation? He does. He does. He uh, he drops his uh, his guns into the holders and he kind of like, um, brushes his hands real quick. He didn't do it at all there. He doesn't always. Anyway, here's the hunt. This is the uh, hunt attached to that waystone out front. Oh, I almost didn't notice. These are um, not particularly demanding enemies, so I'm going to five-star this fight without ever leaving Rav uh, Relentless Assault. Seems like a good idea. Like that's that's one of that's one of those. You know, I I said last video. It's one of those things that I kind of grudgingly respect about this game. Is that there are 
actually a couple of broad ways that you can play it. Of which one is just not bothering with buffs and debuffs and just putting all your effort into correctly timing the right paradigms, getting your stuff together, getting your stats up, and just playing the numbers game rather than the buffs game. It's a legit thing, it can work. And, you know, it does make fights a lot faster sometimes. Yeah, there are definitely some fights where going for buffs is totally unnecessary. And it will make your it'll drag you out way longer than it should. And now it's comfortably five starred. Yeah, I mean like I took well under half the time to do that. Well then. And I bet they're regarding something shit. Yep. Alright, so now that we have the Waystone active, we're actually gonna go back for a little bit. Aww. Because, as it turns out, if you ride Atamos back to the Mahabara, he will fill in that gap at the, uh, remember that broken, that broken bridge in the last video? Oh yeah. He will fill in that gap, and that's how we access the optional area. That's kind of almost clever. I think. I don't know, I, I might, my mind might still be being blown from the presence of an optional area in the first place. So don't hold me to that. And did they really just load up an entire cutscene just to show him rolling through the area? Not one, but three of them. All right then. Oh, oh, I guess we really had to see Sars casually walking off. You think we must have missed something? So yeah, um, we will be exploring this area in a bonus video because it is way above our level right now. But uh, so next time we will be starting back up in Solia Springs and start Tajin's Tower.